Good morning. This is the 48 Chevy guy, and today I'm going to refinish this uh, quarter window. You can see here it's been uh, elbows have been rubbed against it, and here this is next to the uh, uh, to the grab handle when you want to come out of the back seat, and that's been uh, rubbed as well. So what I'm going to use do is I'm going to sand it down. Then I'm going to use some uh, some brown paint to put on top, and uh, shopping bag crumple and we'll see how it comes out so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some uh, some 220 and I put some uh, masking tape to protect the uh, uh, silver uh, molding I don't want to put any paint on it so first I'm going to use the 220 and get rid of that uh, that coat of uh, varnish until I get to the to the paint that I can touch, because there won't be any point in the painting on top of the varnish. That's not going to work. So get rid of it. Yeah. Use some steel wool. The 400, the putty would work too. I had a piece there that went away. So I'm going to wet sand this. Just like that. Now I went a little too far, so I'm going to have to touch up that, uh, that paint before I can, uh, can continue. So it just, <clears throat> just happened to have a little bit of color that looks pretty close to that. So I'm just going to, oh yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Touch this up. Smear a little bit. Like that so it doesn't look, I can't even find the other one here. Okay, let's see, did I miss it? Go anywhere else? No, that was pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll come back and uh, start putting some of the brown, brown paint on it. Okay, <coughs> so the uh, my little touch-up paint is dry, so now I'm going to use just a regular shopping bag, just crumple it up. You don't want it smooth like, uh, you know, like this. You just want it nice and crumpled. Uh, like that, and then I'm going to dab, dab some of the paint into the uh, the cover, just like that, and then I'm just going to dab the paint, and without too much rhyme or reason, I might have to lift this up a bit to get down here. Need a little bit more. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to use another section that doesn't have any paint on it. And keep crumpling it up. There you go. So the next step would be next step would be to uh, to let it dry, and then I'm going to spray it. I have some uh, high gloss polyurethane. Put several coats of it on it, and uh, that's it. So as I said, it's not perfect, but it's certainly will look better when it's done than uh, than what it was before. And that's pretty much what uh, what was done to it initially. Okay, so I'm back. The paint is dry. So I'm just gonna spray easy coat of polyurethane. And I like to start from uh, outside and then go in 
Don't want to put too much at one time. Just going to build up coats. Okay, so that's the first one. Then we'll wait again and do the next one. The next one. So here you are. This is the final product after four coats of uh, uh, high gloss polyurethane. And it's uh, ready to go back in the car. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if I help somebody, that's great. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, keep watching. I'll try to make more videos as I do projects. Thank you again for watching. Appreciate it.